Hello everybody, welcome to the vlog. Hello. I see the family here. Hi Brittany. Hi, how's it going? Good. Hi Alistair. Ian. It's a beautiful spring day. Yeah, flowery trees. Ian. Cut grass. Hey, so big news. Ian got baptized. Yep, I am. Thanks. Well, I am baptized. Yeah? What'd you think? Uh, yeah, and I got the gift of the Holy Ghost, but my Holy Ghost is power enough because of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit? What'd you think of your baptism? Was it exciting? It, it, yeah, it was awesome. Awesome. Um, in our faith, the reason why Ian didn't get baptized when he was eight, like kids normally do, is because um, we, we didn't know if he was accountable or not. And that's an important thing because you don't want to just baptize people because like it's a numbers game or anything like that. It's not. It's an individual decision between the person and the Lord. And Ian, we wanted to make sure, um, at least had a basic understanding of what he was committing to mm -hmm. when it came to following the Savior. And that's important. Uh -huh. And so they treated it as a convert baptism. So he saw the missionaries. Yeah. And the missionaries came over and taught Ian. Is that right? Um, yeah, me. So now Ian is a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And so we had a great time, got the family together. One of the things I did want to talk about just very briefly because I'm tired of talking about YouTube and their policies and guidelines, blah, blah, blah. Uh, they actually got back to me. They wrote an email, but it wasn't good news, just as I expected. They said our channel was at high risk for uh, child predators, so they will not reinstate our comments, um, probably indefinitely. At least maybe until our kids are 18 and older, but that's a ways off, guys. Alistair's still four years old. So if we were to include him and everyone else in our videos, it would at least be 14 years, in theory, until they re-enable comments. Hi, Connor. Hi, Dad. Let's get some cool swinging shots here. Let me get down low. You're hot? Yeah, my, my feet are hot. Is it hot outside? Yeah. That's because it's spring. Yeah. Is there anything you want to talk about? I love my imaginations. You love your imaginations? You have a lot of imaginations, huh? Why don't we go out? Let's yeah. go on a freak Hyrule adventure. Well, here we are in Hyrule Field. Actually, we're inside the village. The village? Do you want to run around and pretend like you're Link? Yeah. Show me. Yeah. There he goes. Hey, Mom. Anyway, this is an autism vlog, so we should probably talk about Alistair and his speech a little bit more. We've, we mentioned it in another one. How do you think he's doing, Britt? About the same. About the same. Not a lot of improvement. It's difficult to make him speak in full sentences. Yeah. I think that's the biggest thing I've noticed. Well, guess what? Yeah. Use those wheels and can use it as a Lamborghini. Is it hard to talk in full sentences, Alistair? Use those wheels. Alistair, look here. See, can you say hi? Whoa. <laughs> Careful. Say hello. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> so can you tell people what's going on? You have, it's not an entirely new stem but it's a vocal stem where you're breathing and you're making throat noises. And it's been a little hard for you at school. Do you want yeah. to talk about that? Yeah, I'll tell you a story. Once upon a time, I was doing school, I was doing work, and then my coffin sounds and the said, do not do it. You, you and Mama and Nora did it. Your guys were fine about it. But Teresa, she does it because it annoys the kids. So I got mad at her long Everybody. ago. I got mad at Teresa. Yeah, she didn't understand that you, you were having a vocal stem. Yes, she doesn't understand, but Jesus does. Yes, he understands. So, maybe you can hear it. It's kind of hard to hear out here. We've got lawnmowers. Of course, whenever I decide to do a vlog, there's like lawnmowers or construction or weed whacking or whatever. That's just how it goes. We're living in a society. So, there you go. You can hear it right now. Yep, you're making your little throat noises. Yeah, you can still do it. I don't, I don't care. We're trying to show people what it sounds like. And sometimes they get really bad, huh? <coughs> like you'll just be sitting there and it almost sounds like he's coughing and like he's maybe choking a little and swallowing. It's really hard for him to control his throat and those sounds. That's just part of his autism. 
It's not I nothing to be ashamed of. Hey, buddy. Hey. Doing great? Yep. Hey, Britt, why don't you tell everyone about the new autism center for adults they're making in Utah? Well, there's a new autism center and it's for adults. Wow! I know! <laughs> what was the mind, right? Yeah, a lot of, a lot of information there. There's I actually, know. we could probably post just a There's news more article. There's info, but it's yeah. another center for adults with autism, kind of another um, transition center plus living center. Yeah. I think that's great because there's really a big need and people just don't talk about that. Everyone thinks, thanks to Autism Speaks, that people with kids are the only ones with autism. It's just not true. Yep, there's adults with autism and they need help too, so it's good to see that they're putting more funding behind it, putting more emphasis behind it. And so maybe by the time Ian is an adult, and maybe our kids, it's hard to say at this point with these two, yeah. um, but they will get the help they need when they're adults. Well, yeah, and it's funny because my dad once asked me, he's like, so where are all the adults with autism? I never see them, you know, growing up or things. And I um, told him, well, back in the day, they were in mental hospitals and care centers, Yeah. you know? Like if they were severe enough that you just, you know, they needed that kind of help, you didn't see them in public. It's not like well, today where you see field trips. A lot of people do see them in public. They just associate them with mental handicapped. You know, yeah. they, they see yeah. like people in those small groups like you're talking about or wheelchairs. More severe um, challenged individuals. Right, yeah. right. Because um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of higher functioning people that you'd never know because they've socialized themselves so well yep. that unless you see a few ticks or a certain peculiarity, like a behavior trait, mm -hmm. you'd never know. And for a long time, they're just shunned. So a lot of times they just, you know, didn't go out or they would try to avoid social situations so and things sad. like that. Yeah, so, yeah it's really sad. Or, or worse, they would take their own lives, which is really sad. Yeah. So. I know you always hear about a murder-suicide by a parent and an autistic child in the news every now and then. It yeah. breaks my heart because life can be so rich and fulfilling, even with these challenges. Yeah, like and look I at today. Like Today's a beautiful day. It is. Getting the kids out. Even, they're, they're not breaking anything right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even, so that's with, good. even with frustrations, you know, you can still find joy in small, simple, happy things. Yeah. So. And guys, again, I apologize if there's wind. I forgot to bring my uh, wind-canceling mic. How have you been? Good. Tell me about your life. At the bus stop, I exercise and I drink water. Mm-hmm. And... How are things going at school? Are, Sounds like a lot of people aren't noticing your autism anymore. Have you been trying to hide it or? Um. And it's okay if you, you know, you're autistic around us, we don't care. But what about at school? Does it, does it bother you because you see other kids behave differently or is it okay for you? No. No what? Some, look. Somebody, somebody was coming to swings every single time. Somebody was what? Every some somebody was sit, was doing swings with me, and and I don't know I don't know her name. You don't know her name? Yeah. She was she was, trying to be a friend to you? No, she's a stranger. I don't know. Oh. I don't know what she's talking about. Yeah. I don't know what she's doing. Oh. Well, do you have any stems at school, or are you, are you doing okay, or what's going on? I don't have a stem at school. Yeah? I like recess, but do you know today's center? What center? I've been a center that's... Tell Daddy about your social skills class. Yeah, you got a social skills class? I don't know what that even means. I'm not a smart guy. Oh, you're a smart guy. He, he's having trouble thinking about what that is. Yeah, your speech therapy. You get together and they give you social skills class. You want to talk about your speech therapy at school? We have IT tomorrow. Oh, you mean my teacher? Yes, your teacher. Your speech therapy? I don't know my speech. When they teach you, you know, how to speak better? Um, we don't have that. It's part of your class, Connor, your curriculum. You don't remember? No. Are you having wait, a wait, hard wait. time? I haven't learned that. I haven't learned that. Your side teacher who shows you how to speak better? No. We already know how to talk. Well, you know how to talk, but just talk better. How to pronunciate and enunciate better. You okay? You don't want to do this? No. Okay. 
Well, we don't have to do this. I'm gonna go back and play in the park. Okay, love you, Connor. Love you. Sorry, guys. Sometimes we don't get uh, that much out of Connor. We get what we get. <laughs> he doesn't want to talk sometimes, and we ask him if he remembers things, and he says no. And... But then, you know, when the camera's not rolling, of course, he'll come up to us and be like, hey, this happened at school today, or, you know. He has stems where he kicks around under his desk, so they got him a rubber band for his desk. I think we told you guys that before. Or a kid at school was teasing him because he talks differently or he does things differently. But Connor either says, I don't know, or he doesn't want to talk about it. I think he tries to hide his autism a lot. We might do a video about that where it makes it really hard for people to understand that Connor, we, we call it diet autism, it's very light autism. But even so, he has autism, but he's aware enough of how others see him that he wants to hide that so he can fit in, as most kids would want to do, as you can see here. So it's, it's human nature to want to fit in, and we just we want Connor to know, hey, it's okay if you have issues, you know, and if, if people tease you, that's their problem. That's their lack of understanding of the situation. So, yeah, it's kind of hard to see him try to hide a part of who he is just to fit in um, and maybe it could be a good thing if it helps him in the future um, to you know advance a career to get married you know all the things we talk about that are normal quote unquote but it, it also is hard as a parent because you know something's going on that he just tries to hide away from but we see him struggle from time to time again it's not very bad we, we call it diet autism. I can see him over there. He's playing with his fingers. You probably can't see that on the GoPro. But um, instead of like hand flapping, he'll bend his fingers a lot and move them backwards. Um, just little things like that. That's not a big deal. I don't think it affects his quality of life at all. It's just something he has to deal with. So anyway, we'll talk more about that later. It is great to see them playing with other kids. Absolutely. It's starting to get cloudy. Looks like we might get some rain. Where are you guys going? No, don't go in the church. We're gonna walk home. We're walking home. Did you get some footage of these flowers? Oh, you want some water from the water fountain inside? Yes. Okay, hold on. We're all hot. You're all hot? I wonder how the camera will perform in here. That's nice and dark. Oh, the lights are kind of out. Here we go. Let's get a water fountain. Well, Ian, you were baptized in a church that looks very similar, but is down the road. All right. Look out, there's Moplin. He's bigger than you. So, short vlog, do you want to say thanks for watching, everyone? Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day of my vlog. <laughs>